Tropical storm Gordon strengthening as we speak in the Gulf of Mexico, and it's expected to become a hurricane as it barrels towards several states. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kevin Kelly. Preparations in the Gulf Coast well underway at this hour. Schools are being closed and states of emergencies are being declared. Chief Meteorologist Jeff Baskin certainly been very busy tracking Gordon from Arkansas and the potential impact it could have. But as we speak, it is not a hurricane, but it has the potential to pick up the speed to become one. It's pretty close to hurricane strength right now. Winds of 70 miles per hour. Hurricane needs to be 74 mile per hour sustained winds. So it's pretty close, even though it doesn't have a whole lot of time left over water. As long as it's over water, it could strengthen a little bit more. So still a possibility that it becomes a hurricane as it moves towards the Gulf Coast. Right now, taking aim towards the Mississippi Gulf Coast. Widen out a little bit, give you a bit of a better perspective of where it is. Moving into the Gulf Coast right now, not a whole lot going on across Arkansas. It's mainly dry. That storm came out of South Florida yesterday morning and has moved across the eastern Gulf of Mexico and is hours away from making landfall. Here's the latest position estimate. You can see the center of the tropical storm with the heavy rain bands mainly northeast and east of the center, really not a whole lot west. So from, say, uh, New Orleans westward, really not going to get a whole lot based on this track, but some heavy rains and wind likely to get into parts of Mississippi, Alabama, as well as Florida. Some heavy bands now coming into the Pensacola area where we've had wind gusts up to 45 four miles per hour over the last hour, almost 30 mile per hour wind gusts around Gulf Shores. The wind's starting to pick up along the Mississippi Gulf Coast as well. New Orleans Lakefront Airport right on Lake Pontchartrain, 32 mile per hour wind gust out of the northeast. Now as we take a look at the forecast track right now, 70 mile per hour winds as of four o'clock. This is going to make landfall likely somewhere in the neighborhood of around 10 o'clock tonight along the Mississippi Gulf Coast and then move inland. Once it moves inland, it's going to weaken pretty quickly. It loses that warm water energy source. By the time it gets into Arkansas, which would likely be late Wednesday night, early Thursday morning, it will be down to a tropical depression. Winds likely down to about 30 miles per hour at most. So this isn't going to be a big wind maker for Arkansas, but it's going to slow down and move across the state Wednesday night through Friday, and that's going to mean the potential for some heavy rainfall. We're talking about widespread three to five inches of rain, potentially more in a few spots. And again, the placement of this heavy rain band is really going to be dependent on how Gordon moves. It moves a little bit farther towards the north. That's going to place central Arkansas more in that maximum rainfall area. So the possibility of some flooding rains as we get towards later on in the week associated with the remnants of Gordon. Now what about this evening heading out tonight? No problems at all. We're talking about dry conditions, a little bit warm and humid though. Temperatures only dropping back into the upper 70s by later on this evening. We'll talk more about the rainfall potential and the timing coming up in just a few minutes.